marine battery versus car battery discussion is one that's been had by anyone shopping for a battery for their boat. Being tempted by the easily available automotive power units is only natural. But it's important to understand that there are key differences between the two that can have a significant impact on their utility. Let's take a look at why marine and car batteries are in two different sections of the store. Now, let's dive into the deep of this video. What is a car battery? A car battery, or an automotive battery, is a rechargeable battery that provides the juice to kickstart the electrical components of a car. The moment you turn the ignition on, a signal is being sent to the battery which then prompts the battery to convert the chemical energy stored in it into electrical energy. This zap of electric power goes to the starter which then cranks the engine. The lead acid battery used in cars is a heavy-duty automotive battery with lead plates inside the unit which are submerged into the sulfuric acid. This results in a chemical reaction which releases energy and provides voltage and current. What is a marine battery? Marine batteries, as the name suggests, are special purpose batteries used to power a boat. They are much more powerful and robust batteries than a regular car battery, with enough starting power to crank over high compression engines and heavy duty components to, to withstand the pounding and vibration that you normally feel when you're on board. It's a power storage device used to start the engine or power the lights and accessories, such as pumps, radios, and electronics. When examining these two types of batteries, it helps to understand the fundamental role each plays in its respective electrical ecosystem. Car batteries play a very specific role, provide enough amperage to turn over a gasoline or diesel engine, regardless of how high or low temperatures outside might be. This means that these batteries are designed to discharge big amps in a short period of time, and then to let the vehicle's alternator charge them back up again. Marine batteries, however, are asked to perform a more diverse set of tasks. While yes, they are often required to start engines, albeit typically smaller ones than those in the average automobile. Their job continues after firing things up. These batteries need to provide enough juice to keep the lights running, the gauges functioning, and any pumps or other boat accessories fully operational. This means that they must offer a long drawdown on power before emptying out. The designs of marine and car batteries reflect this key difference in mission statement. Marine units feature thicker internal lead plates than their automotive counterparts which allow them to discharge energy over a longer period of time. Their housings are also typically larger than an equivalent car battery, with extra plastic protection because boating environments aren't nearly as smooth as on road driving. Finally, you can identify a marine battery by its use of marine cranking amps, or MCA rating, instead of the standard automotive cold cranking amps, IECA. Both batteries have their MCA capability tested right at the freezing point, rather than below it as for CCA because it's rare that a pleasure boat will be out fording icy waters. Keep the above differences in mind, and avoid the temptation to choose an automotive battery instead of a marine battery for your boat. Using the right one means you'll be safe and sound out on the lake, all season long. One of the major differences between the two batteries is how they are constructed. Car batteries are purely made for cold cranking amps. They can put as much amperage as they can to start a car, especially in cold weather. They are not made for prolonged use without some way of recharging. Marine batteries, especially deep cycle batteries, are not only made for cranking power but they can also be used for prolonged discharge at high rates for a significant amount of time. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.